Hey everyone, it's John here. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new auto refresh feature for pivot tables. So this is new to Insider beta version of Excel 365. And it's going to allow you to skip the refresh button on your pivot tables. Let's take a look. So first up, let's take a look at how pivot table refresh has always worked in the past. So here we've got our table of data and we can select this and create a pivot table based on that data set by going up to the insert tab, pivot tables and from table slash range. Here it's picked up our employees table as the source and we're gonna place this pivot table right next to our data source and press okay. Now we've got a blank pivot table, we can add fields into our pivot table. So let's add the department in the rows area and let's add the employee name into our values area and get a count. And let's also add salary into our values area and get a sum of all the salaries. Now how pivot tables have always worked is if we make any changes, so edit any of this data in our source, or add new rows or remove rows, then we're not gonna see that update in our pivot table until we refresh it. So for example, let's add some of these employees into our data source. And you can see that our pivot table remains the same. So what we need to do is right click and refresh. And now we see those two extra employees in our values in our pivot table. Let's just undo that. And let's take a look at the new auto refresh option. So if we select our pivot table and go up to the analyze tab, you're gonna notice in the data section here, we've got a new option to auto refresh. So if we click on that, then it's gonna turn auto refresh on. And now what's gonna happen when we add data into our data source table, you can see that it instantly updates those values. So now there's no need to right click and refresh our pivot tables. You can also find this in the pivot table options if you right click and go to pivot table options. Then there's a new option here in the data tab, automatically refresh when the data source changes. So for me, this new feature was automatically the default option, so I didn't need to turn it on at first. So if you don't want the auto refresh to be the default option when you create a pivot table, then you're going to need to disable that, and you can do that in the Excel options menu. So if you go to the file tab and go to options, then in Excel options, under the data tab and data options section here, we've got this edit default layout for your pivot tables. And that's going to allow you to set various layout options as the default for any new pivot tables. And you can also set further default options in pivot table options here. So you can go to your data tab and either enable automatic refresh or disable it as the default and press OK and OK to save that and OK. And now depending on your selection, any new pivot tables will have auto refresh either enabled or disabled by default. So there you go, that's the new pivot table auto refresh feature currently only available in the beta insiders version of Excel 365. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.